Brian, as I said, bleak reading from that group. Does that performance sum up Stephen Kenny's tenure, do you think? Um, I don't know whether it sums up his tenure, but I think the result sums up um, the period of time that Stephen has been in charge in that we've ended up losing another match, another home match that we would have probably expected to have won in years gone by. Uh, we've lost games like Luxembourg at home as well, Armenia away, losing away to Greece early on in this group. Losing early games in group in the groups have been our downfall. Ukraine as well. Go back to Portugal and Serbia. Every every group we've we've lost games early on, which has kind of knocked the stuffing out of us in terms of qualification. But you kind of look at where where we where we are from where we began when Stephen came in. I felt right from the beginning. He over. He underestimated how difficult it was going to be to win international matches. He talked about us playing an expansive style of game, building up from the back, playing through the towards the pitch. There was no reason why we couldn't dominate possession all over the pitch. And that just hasn't been the case. As it's gone on, I think he's become a little bit more pragmatic. We saw a mixture of long ball, short balls today. Not a lot of good football today. We didn't see Cullen small bone, Alan Brown, playing any progressive football today, true ball, small bone had that little chance early in the match. But other than that, we rarely saw them taking the ball on the half turn, making an advance run, getting someone on the ball in around the penalty area. Ferguson was dropping deep to get the ball because he never got a pass in around <clears> the box. <throat> they nullified the, the, the threat of Samarcus for a few minutes of the match. But not for too long. Eventually, he came up with the cross, and Jim Mack has scored a, a great goal. But it was—it just wasn't good enough, and it hasn't been good enough. It's just been too many defeats, um, too many games where it's almost been nearly. We nearly scored, just like Stephen said there with eighteen shots. We nearly scored. Uh, and if the goalkeeper hadn't made the save, and if the defender hadn't got the ball off the line, that's their jobs. They looked an outstanding team tonight. Let's not be fooled by any of the statistics. And we've had a lot of statistics thrown at us over Stephen's era. Exaggerated statistics that have been positive and have given a reflection on the game that hasn't been true. The biggest reflection of the game tonight was they won 2 nothing, and they outplayed us. They played within themselves in the second half. Stephen said they, they, they sat back a bit back a bit in the lead. They did, but they were far superior to us technically, uh, organisationally. Every player was very, very comfortable on the ball. They knew what they were doing. And we were just oh, very limited. Our attempts to create chances were so poor. High balls into the box, the odd set piece, scrambles around the goals, but nothing of, of real efficiency or technical brilliance. It was a very, very disappointing performance and it's been a very, very disappointing campaign, even though we've had Netherlands and France in it and you can say it was a group of death and all that. The reason we're in the group of death, as such as it's been named, is because the results have been so poor before the draw for this competition that we end up in pot three with the possibility of getting the likes of Netherlands and France. If we do them better in the Nations League, we might be in a position to get a playoff, but we're nowhere. 